All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to talk a little bit more about different types of conversions that you can do with stoichiometry. The last one we want to discuss is what's called the mass-to-mass -mass conversion. That is, we start off with grams of a reactant and then convert to grams of a product. So what I want to do is a couple of practice problems with this. And again, you'll be able to identify them based upon how they're written. So let's go on and... Um, and start with this. So, first question here. It's asking us to calculate how many grams of ammonia. And just so you know, ammonia is NH3. So, how many grams of ammonia are produced when you react two grams of nitrogen with excess hydrogen? So, we are reacting nitrogen and hydrogen. Remember both of those are Brinkelhoff and we are creating ammonia. That's it. Now we go through, we balance the chemical equation. Hydrogens are going to have to balance first here. So we're going to put a 3 there and we're going to have to put a 2 there and that balances everything out. Great. So Let's see what we know and what we don't know from our question. I'm going to change colors for this. So, what is given to us in the problem? How many grams of ammonia are produced when you react 2 grams of nitrogen? So, we are starting with 2 grams of nitrogen. And we want grams of ammonia. All right. So, again, start with what we know. We're going to start with 2 grams of nitrogen okay and grams of nitrogen goes in the bottom and the only thing I can convert grams into is moles right can't do anything else with it so convert it to moles anytime you do a gram to mole conversion it's gonna be one where do we find this information periodic table look it up 14.01 times 2, 28.02. Let's move on. Moles of nitrogen on the bottom of the next step. And again, we want grams of ammonia, so we're going to use the mole ratio here to go from moles of nitrogen to moles of ammonia. Again, that's found from the coefficients of the balanced chemical equation. So this is 1, and this is 2. Keep chugging along. Another step. Moles of NH3. And looking at what the question is asking for, I can now finally get it to grams of NH3. Anytime you do gram to mole, it's always 1. I believe that's about right. Again, look them up on the periodic table if you don't know. So again, we end up with grams of NH3 on the top of our last step, which tells us that we did this correctly. Now you go through and plug it in and solve algebraically. So multiply across the top, divide by the bottom. So 2 times 2 times 17.04 divided by 28.02. Right. My answer, using significant figures, I need two significant figures in my answer. I'm sorry, three significant figures, 2.43 grams of NH3. So again, you take it one step at a time. Start with grams. Start with what you know. Start with grams, convert to moles. Use the mole ratio to get it moles of what you want. Moles to grams of product. That's it. It's the same procedure every time. And you just have to go through and recognize where you need to go. Start with grams, convert to moles. Use the mole ratio to get to moles of product, and then take the moles, convert to grams of product. That's it. Let's try another example. How many grams of calcium nitride are produced when 2.00 grams of calcium reacts with an excess of nitrogen? Let's write our equation. 
Calcium is reacting with nitrogen. Don't forget Brinkelhoff, right? N is N2. We're producing calcium nitride. Don't forget your charges when you write out a product. And now go back and balance your equation. All right, now that we've balanced this equation, let's find out some information. What is known? What is our unknown? Again, you have to be able to determine this. It makes the life makes your life much much easier if you know what the heck you're doing. All right? So, let's get started. We're going to start with 2 grams of calcium. So, I'm going to start with that. Grams of calcium, what can I convert that to? Moles. One mole. Where do we find this information? The periodic table, Mr. Liam. 40.08. Again, look it up, guys. Take your time. Don't rush through these things. I know some of you will probably find this easy. And some of you will not. But take your time with it. Be patient. Moles of calcium, what do I want? I want grams of calcium nitride. So I'm going to go from moles of calcium to moles of calcium nitride. Again, given by coefficients of a balanced chemical equation. And now I can finally convert to grams. Anytime you do gram to mole, it's always one. And now I need to do a little bit of math to determine the molar mass of Ca3N2. Did my math wrong? Hang on just a second, guys. I got 148.26. Check to make sure everything canceled. We'll have the grams of calcium nitride. Plug into your calculator and solve. 2 times 148.26 divided by 40.08 times 3. Again, three significant figures. So my answer needs to have three. So I'm going to go 2.4, 2.47, 2.4, 2.4, 47 grams of Ca3N2. Okay. One thing you may notice is that these equations are pretty easy. This is not a, a difficult equation to write out, but my expectation is that you know how to predict products and you know how to write equations based upon this. Some will be provided for you, certainly, but not all of them will. So you should be able to react, uh, predict products, and do some stoichiometry based upon those chemical reactions. Let's do one more. Um, let's do one more here. And this one, the equation's already given, but we can still do our stoichiometry work here. Uh, determine how many grams of calcium sulfate are made if we start with 10 grams of sulfuric acid and an excess of CaOH. So one thing you'll notice is that a lot of times there are other parts of the question that are thrown in there to kind of trick you. You know, there's some things that aren't necessary. Again, all you got to look at is what you start with and what you need at the end. And here we're going to start with 10 grams of sulfuric acid, and we want grams of calcium sulfate. So this part right here is completely unnecessary to our problem. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of it for us, angrily, if you will. But again, follow the same rules. Start with what you know. I'm going to start with 10 grams of sulfuric acid. Do the math. 
grams of sulfuric acid on top, grams of sulfuric acid on the bottom. I can convert grams to moles. Can that line out a little bit? Gram to mole conversions always have one with the mole. Do a little H2SO4 work for me. Let's find the molar mass. 98.08. Notice these are all very similar. The work is similar, okay? So take your time with it. Moles of H2SO4 on the bottom. Take a look at the question. What do we want? We want grams of calcium sulfate. I can't go from moles to grams of something else, but I can go to mole to mole if I'm changing my chemical. Coefficients of the balanced chemical equation. One, two, one. Perfect. Break it down again. Moles of calcium sulfate. I can finally get it to grams. Okay. Again, need to do a little bit of math to figure out your molar mass here. 136.14. Again, you find that on the periodic table. Probably sick of me saying that, but. We can figure out our answer finally. Let's plug and chug, guys. 10 times 136.14. We're going to divide that quantity by 98.08. Oops, did a little bit of math wrong there. 10 times 136.14 divided by 98.08. Significant figures. I put a third one in there, so let's just call it 3. Let's go 13.9 grams of CaSO4. Okay, that's all you got to do. So just take your time with it. Take it one step at a time. I'll post some homework problems here in a little bit. Best of luck to you. Wish you luck. Take your time. Ask questions. Talk to your neighbors. Get help if you need it, all right? I'll be back on Monday. We'll, we'll definitely spend some time reviewing, but make sure you know how to do this. We'll see you later, guys.